So, you've made it all the way to the final World Painter tutorial. In the past three tutorials, I have went over every single feature in this program, except for one thing. And this thing is very important, it's called height maps. Height maps are extremely useful for creating terrain very quickly in this program, or planning things out. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now, because it's my most requested video. You're going to go to File, and then go and Import New World, and then click From Height Map. Now from here it's going to ask you an image, but we gotta make that image first. So I'm gonna open up Paint.net, and the link to Paint.net is in the description. I highly recommend this program, it's like Microsoft, or what the heck am I saying? It's like free Photoshop. So we have an image here, and the only colors we can use is black and white, and everything in between, so any shade of gray will work. If you use any other type of color, World Painter is going to spit it out and tell you you can't use this image. So, let's say I want to make an island. So, we're going to start with our image, and basically with height maps, if you use a darker color, it's going to be lower in elevation when you convert it to the World Painter map. If it's a lighter color, it'll be higher in elevation. So, I'm going to click here, make the whole thing dark, and then we're going to start using shades of gray. So if I want kind of lower thing, I would use, or lower terrain, I mean, I would use this. And we're just kind of kind of loop around here. We're going to kind of make the island from our first tutorial, but we're going to do it much quicker. So we're going to shade this, and I want this area to be lower. And then let's say I want the center to be higher, so I'm going to up the gray on it. And we're going to go this right here. Yeah, well, we'll make this a little higher too. And then... At the top, I want it to be almost extremely high, so I do that. And at the very center, I want it to be the tallest on the map. So I'm actually just going to use paint bucket and fill this here. And uh, I make sure, actually, we'll do that. Okay, so I like how this turned out. Obviously, you can spend a lot more time in it. Maybe I'll do like a little more here, a little more here. There we go. So once you're happy with how your map looks and how you planned it out, you're gonna go to File, Save As, and then I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm, and I already recorded this video a few times, so we're gonna just name this Height Map 2, and make sure that you have the file extension as JPEG. It will not work if you set it to anything else. Do Save, and now that it's saved in my desktop, I can go to World Painter, and we're just gonna click on the dots again. And we're gonna look for height map two. And as you can see, it's imported into World Painter. Now, I don't want things to be super tall because right now the bottom is at zero and the top is at 255, as you can see here. So I'm gonna lower the top value to maybe something around like 80. So that the highest point where I put white on is gonna be 80, right? And then I want the floor to be 50. But I want to keep the ocean level at 62, and it seems it's kind of covering my lowest layer there. So I'm actually going to raise the height more, because it can do in relation. Uh, I would highly recommend just experimenting with this. So here we go, we have that. And then we're also going to scale this up, because the image I used in pixels was 800 by 600. I want this map to be bigger. I want it to be uh, maybe double size. So I'm gonna hit 200%. And now it's 1600 by 1200. And uh, I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna do okay. And as you can see, we have the start to our map. Now, keep in mind, you're not gonna get any very detailed results with this unless you uh, use a very detailed height map. This is just good for starting off maps. <clears throat> Mostly mega maps. And so once you've done this, you're gonna hit uh, smooth and you're just gonna kinda make like a circle. I'm just gonna go outside and like smooth everything a lot. And then here's where I actually get the bridge train. I'm gonna click in the middle of the slopes. And this is where we're really going to get the shape of our terrain going, make it look a lot better. Let's surround that. Here we go, we'll do this next. This here, and then this here. We'll also do this island. Surround it. 
But now we got our general elevation. Now we can actually start like making mountains and stuff. So I'm just gonna click here, make a bigger mountain set to 100%, so we can make it faster. Do -do -do. Right here. And we'll also do it here as well. Big mountains. We like big mountains, don't we? And we go to show 3D view, and we got an island already. And uh, remember, we can do global operations and texture things. So, like, you know, if I want rock, do that. Keep the open above. You know, like, yeah. And then, let's say we also want beaches. Also, go to global operations at or below 64. Dude, beaches. There we go. And we got a nice little island map, and then you can just keep adding on to this, and as you can see, we've made a map extremely quickly. So, you know, if you like this video, like and subscribe, this is probably the last World Painter tutorial I'm doing for a while, and keep an eye out for my other projects, they're a lot cooler than these tutorials. Take it easy.